Hello, I'm Ruth Cox and I'm a paintings conservator. I work um, out of my own studio in Durham, North Carolina, but I've been fortunate enough over the last um, 10 years or so to work off and on with Wake Forest and their lovely collection of pictures. Today, I would like to talk with you about this lovely portrait of Mrs. Daniel Rogers, um, painted by John Singleton Copley in 1762. When I first examined this painting, it was clear that it had been taken off its original strainer, the wooden frame that supported the canvas. A new canvas had been added to the reverse of the original fabric and the painting restretched onto an expandable stretcher. The auxiliary support was still sturdy and the line canvas planar, so no major structural treatment was required. The primary problem was the aesthetic presentation of the picture. The painting had clearly been conserved more than once, and now the varnish and restorations were deteriorating. The varnish had yellowed and had become badly fractured and was delaminating from the underlying paint film. This was most prominent in Mrs. Rogers' dress, specifically in the lower left-hand region. The old retouching had darkened and stood out against the whitened varnish film. The conservation treatment began with the removal of the surface dirt and grime. This was followed by the careful removal of discolored resin layers and overpaint. As the cleaning progressed, Copley's technique could be studied. It appeared in most areas of the composition that Copley painted in a direct technique. Most likely, the beautiful dress depicted in the picture was a figment of Copley's imagination, having used his print collection for inspiration. The sleeves are 17th century in style, and the neckline, unlike those square-cut bodices currently fashionable in 18th century New England. It was a highly romanticized vision and indebted to the current English style of portraiture. Copley created the volume of the dress, first by layering in a deep, probably Prussian blue pigment over which he used blue with varying amounts of lead white to create volume. Final highlights and shadows were worked into the darker and lighter tones to create the illusion of form. The thin transitions from highlight to shadow had in areas been abraded by past cleaning. During the in-painting phase of the treatment, these transitions needed to be reunited to create continuous form. Copley's palette did not diverge from what was commonly used and available at the time. It's known from correspondence during his English period that he was methodical in his pre-mixing a number of tones on his palette before commencing work in order to facilitate the painting process. His fastidiousness, both in material use and painting technique, exasperated some of his contemporary artists and did cause his sitters to pose for long periods of time, much to their dismay. Now let's turn to the condition of the paint film. Paint losses were scattered over the surface. The most notable was the loss in Mrs. Rogers' proper right arm. All of the significant losses were filled with the synthetic gesso-like material and then in-painted in reversible retouching paints. Two of the most important tenets of conservation are that the materials we add to a painting or object during treatment should be easily detectable and reversible without damage to the original. To clarify, detectable doesn't mean that you should be able to see are retouching in normal light, but when using an ultraviolet light illumination, the restoration should be visible. This allows other conservators and scholars to clearly see what is original to the object and what has been interpreted. Though our picture did not have any truly large losses, the damage in the dress confused the original flow and volume of the heavyweight silk. Careful in-painting of tiny losses in the thin top layer have restored the sense of form. Retouching these small distractions restored clarity and legibility to the picture. 
It's hoped that the current conservation treatment will last 75 to 100 years. You may well ask, but why not longer? The problem is that all materials age, even the most stable synthetic materials available to conservators today. Though chemicals have been added to extend the life of the new varnish I applied, eventually it will fracture and discolor. Likewise, the retouching color will change slightly and in a different way than the original paint will age. However, for now, let's enjoy this beautiful subject and the history and tradition that the work represents.